Hey guys, this is Luke from Play. And this is Paul. And today we're going to be taking a look at Star Wars Battlefront. Now, Paul, I understand you've been playing a fair bit of the uh, the beta, which recently finished. Yes, I have. I've been playing the beta. Um, the two only two modes on there um, that we've been able to play, which are um, Walker Assault and the other one I forgot, which is basically Domination, but with pods. Okay. So now Walker Assault looked impossible to win for the Rebels from what I saw. Yeah, according to some people, they have seen um, the Rebels win. I've never been in a game, whether I've been on the Rebel side or the Empire side, where the Rebels have won. So I suspect there might what, be some balance. Yeah, what do you think be. is like causing that? Is it just kind of the unfair advantage given by like the Walkers themselves? or? Um, I think part of it is just people not playing the game as it's intended oh, okay. to be played like not focusing on the objectives people not playing the objectives in an online shooter are you, are you kidding me yeah I think that is part of it so it's kind of hard to tell whether it's unbalanced or it's solely down to that okay but you would you would think even if it is um, you know people not playing the objective you'd still think that you'd see some wins for the other <laughs> team at some point I, t- I tend to think that there is a bit of a problem with balance in there mm-hmm. So. Something not quite right with the spawn points at the moment as well. Like I saw a couple of times I'd glance over and you'd be there loading in right in front of a Walker or Darth Vader or whatever. Yeah, there's yeah people. Yeah, I think they didn't perhaps need to do some work with spawn points. I mean, th- part of the part of the problem I have with that is like like, like you say when you got a Walker camp there. Um, so the Star Wars bases everything around. Um, the random pickups really mm-hmm. that you find in the level which um, well some of the pickups will be like a, a vehicle like a X-Wing or whatever some of it will be random and then you pick it up and you'll get like a, a thermal imploder or a rock, smart rocket or something like that um, it, obviously it's, people have been talking about whether this is like just Battlefield but in Star Wars yeah. but obviously in Battlefield everything was based around classes Yeah. so if you have something like that where there's a walker camping at your spawn point and if it was a battlefield game you'd be like well we need an engineer yeah. with rockets I was born in as an engineer with this you can't even get to the random pickups to get what you, so it feels like you're being confronted with a problem where you know what the solution is but you can't do anything about it yeah I'm actually quite surprised they did away with the class system I mean that was something that I remember quite fondly from, from the older games on PS2 yeah, I'm surprised as well. But it, I mean, it seems like they've tried to simplify all around in terms okay. of you can't go prone. There's only a crouch. Okay. Um, obviously, the shooting, uh, you can aim down sights, but it doesn't affect the accuracy. Right. It's, it's the same whether you whether you do or not. So they seem to be trying to simplify it. Um, I mean, I'm conscious I'm sounding quite negative about it at the moment, which I, I, I'm not. I, I did enjoy playing it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I just. I'm just not 100% sure at the moment how well the the, the sort of random pickup element's going to work. I mean, at least sound, it's yeah. different. To yeah, I guess. I mean, the, the random element is always going to be an issue in a in multiplayer shooter. I mean, they're not they're not pitching this as kind of an esports level shooter. No. Really. It's, it is more a kind of a fun, a more, for want of a better word, casual experience. Like, just you like Star Wars, go play some Star Wars. Yeah, I do. I do wonder they. I do, to be a bit cynical, I do wonder how much people would care about this if it wasn't Star Wars. I mean, I get that that's a large But you can't the... take that away from us. It's like no. saying, would people care about FIFA if it wasn't football? <laughs> no, I get, I get... What I'm saying is um, a, a, a lot of people seem to be seeing a lot of praise for the game. But most it's always going to get... It, it, a... Most of that praise seems to be based on it is Star Wars. Not it, it's the, always going to get that for... generous o- o- overcompensation to some degree, for sure. Like, yeah. If if it's good, it'll be announced as great. If it's great, it'll be announced as game of all time. Exactly. But it, that's to be expected. It's Star Wars. There are quite a few super fans of that series. Yeah, and to, and to be fair to it, that is part of the appeal. Like, the, yeah, people want to be just be able to jump in and play Star Wars, like iconic vehicles, weapons, characters, places, everything. And yeah, it does it does add something to it, like all the, the sound effects and the music and yeah. stuff. So I'm not I'm not saying that doesn't add anything to it, but. Um, I mean, yeah. As I say, I have actually, I have actually enjoyed playing it, despite mm. you know saying <laughs> negative things about it. So, um, 
but I, I think it'll be interesting to see a few more of the modes as well. Mm-hmm. And they've, they've just announced some new ones. Yeah. Um, there's one way it's a one on seven. One player plays as a hero. Yeah. One, everybody else is, is is villain. If you kill, uh, sorry, everybody else plays as, as normal um, normal soldiers. If you kill the hero or villain, you become them, and you have to try and stay alive for as long as possible. Cool. Um, they've announced cargo, which is like capture the flag, apart from there's you have like five pieces of cargo. You don't need to have cargo at your base to steal the enemies. So okay. kind of back and forth of trying to um, get as much as you can. Cool. Um, so you, you know they've they've, in, they've introduced some new modes there. So mm-hmm. it'd be interesting to play some more and definitely see, yeah. see how it is. But what what I've played so far is definitely good, but. It, it just suggests that there may be a little bit of balancing that needs to be done. Yeah, sure, it sounds um, like it. And, and I think just maybe just getting used to the different way it's structured in terms of mm-hmm. like run. I mean, part of the thing with pickups is I haven't got to a stage yet where I learnt where the vehicle pickups are right, and stuff. Right, right. So vehicle pickups do stay in the same place. Mm-hmm. And I think yeah, when it gets when once you start to learn the map in that way, then I think that'll that'll help as well. Yeah, so I mean that works kind of the same way as the like the heavy ammo sports in Destiny PvP or like the pickups in an old arena shooter, I guess. So once you learn those yeah those important points on the map, people are going to be there ahead of time to pick up new power ups and stuff. And I mean that, there's still going to be that random element, but at least there's not the randomness of not knowing where it is on top of not knowing what it is. Yeah. I mean, but I, w- I would say, have, of what I've played a bit, there's there's definitely, you can see that it's going to be a success, I mm-hmm. think. You can see it's it's a, a good game at, at core, yeah. and people are going to enjoy it, it even if it is partially cause it's just because it's Star Wars. Yeah. But that's, that's fine if that's what people enjoy. And... Um, yeah, I, I just hope that um, yeah some of the other game modes will, will uh, make it a bit more interesting as well. 